a warm welcome to all my dear little girls and boys in grade 3. Today I have come back with my English lesson for you. And it's lesson number 5. Mage grade 3 ye ke onna punchi dwala putalata English lesson ne karagena teacher ada ayet aawa. Dwala putalata ada karanna tiyenne lesson number 5. Now we have started unit number 5 in your pupils book. Api pute putala ge pupils book ke ke unit number 5 ekka ne den patan aragena tiyenne api lessons hatarak karala iwarai. Ada tiyenne lesson number 5. We have completed four lessons and today it's lesson number five. Now in our unit number five, what are we talking about? Munadhupute api api unit number five eking khata kranne. Animal friends. We are talking about animals. Api khata kranne pute sattu gana ne. Animal friends kye la tamai api api unit teke te kya ne ne dhu pute. I think api sattu gana animals la gana goda akrewal me unit taking katakarana. So now lesson 1, 2, 3 and 4, we have spoken about uh, so many things related to animals. I hope you can remember all of those things. So today in my lesson number 5, I am going to teach you about animal babies. Animal babies. You are babies too. Mage punchi dwala putala vage onna sattun ta tinnawane punchi patau. Mage dwala putala punchi patau ne. Ne dhu pute. Itin api adha igana ganne animal babies. Sattun ge punchi patau gana. Deng pute sattun ge punchi patau nta api kiyana vishesha naam tiyanawane. There are special names. Some animals have their babies having special names. So we are going to talk about animal babies in our lesson number 5. Now I hope you can see our little picture over here with animal babies and their parents. Animal, uh, it's a family. You can see uh, the mother or the father and the little animal babies are over here. So in our lesson today, we are going to take a look at some beautiful pictures along with some interesting information from your pupils book and then we have to do our workbook activities as well. Una mage duala putala venada wageema putala ge pupils book ekai workbook ekai aragena thamai api lesson ekak patan ganne yanne. And I told you to keep a little book with you so that you can write all the new names that you are going to learn while you talk about animal friends. Mage duala putala tava amatara potak tiyagena teacher kiyala dena alut vachana aluten api dan me punchi punchi sattunta kiyana nam igana gannawa e hema deyakma mage putalata liyala amatara denumata ekatu karaganna puluwan. So you will have a lot of things to learn in our unit number 5. So let's start our lesson number 5 in your pupils book. I want you to take that and I want you to turn to uh, the lesson number 5 that I am going to do today. And it's all about animal babies. I know it's going to be a very interesting lesson for you. So let's move forward and start our lesson today. And I want you to turn to this page in your pupils book. Now if you turn to this page in your pupils book, you will have all these pictures. Mage duala putala onna pute pupils book ke karagena menna me pinturu tiyena pituwata mage duala putala perala ganna one because you are going to follow the lesson with me and I am going to teach you about animal babies that's our lesson right so now what does this say listen and say onna mage duala putala teacher kiyana de aha gannawa listen and say kiyala ne tiyenne ne da pute so we are going to listen and we are going to say api ahagena indala api me wachana igana gana mage duala putala onna lassanata teacher ekka kiyannai yanne right so now i want you to look at the picture nicely dan putala duala ge pota tiyenawa nan langa mage duala putala potata perala gana onna me pituwe balanna pute tiyena pictures monawada kiyala let's take a good look at the pictures now here we have some animals and birds and then here we have 
their babies. The pictures of their babies over here. Magi tu ala putala te pain wane. Onna deng apita tiyan wa sattunge pinturu ki piyak. Egolonge punchi patau thamai minna mitane inne. I hope you can see. In the, inside these circles, we have the animal babies, the babies of these animals. So we are going to talk about them today. Now we sometimes we can't use the same name that we use uh, for the bigger animal. I mean the mother animal. You can't use the same thing on the uh, little baby. Apito pute samhara velava tapi samhara sattunge e loku satate kya ne amma tatta te kya ne nama ma apito punchi pataun tapi pavichi karani ne. Egolonte vena mana makti ena. Iting adha me pada meng api gane gane ani e punchi sattun te kya ne vishesha nam. Now there are so many animals, there are so many baby animals, but we can't talk about all of those animals, no. So we have selected some of the animals in your pupils' book. Apitu pute hunga ak sattu inna e sattu hammer dena gana ma kata karan ma gidi dola putala te. Ekaparam behani iting api sattun ki pe ak tora gana api egolonge punchi patau gana menna mevidiya ta adale sanne ke ni gana gam. So. First of all, I want you to look at this little boy over here. We have a little friend and he is only telling us what this is. This is a puppy. This is a puppy. Then mage dola putala balanawa da kau da puppy kiyala kiyanne kiyala api balamu. Who is a puppy? We are going to talk about that in our lesson today. Okay? Right now before we do anything else, I want you to take a look at the pictures on top. Apita me iha ling tiya na pinturu wala kaude inna pe animal friends la kiya la balama pute. Because our unit number 5 is all about animal friends no. So we will take a look at our animal friends over here. Unna magi duwala puta la deng balana kaude apiti inne. We have the sheep. Kaata the sheep kiya ne. Better luata. Better luata tamaya pi sheep kia la kia ni. So here we have the sheep. Then we have the rabbit. Rabbit. Una magi duela putala danawa. Rabbit kia ni kata the. Rabbit kia la kia ni ha. Wata ne the pute. We have the rabbit over here. Now the word sheep and the word rabbit we already know. Apidan wani sheep kiani betalua, rabbit kiani hawa, pidang e wachana magi duela putala, lesson nika patanga nukoti in the lama pia hala, igan again at the anima. Right, then the next animal over here is the cow. Cow, can you see? This is the cow. Who is a cow in Singhala? Kata the putte api cow kiala kiani, illa dena, ne the putte, one in no apita, illa dena in a cow. Cow is very easy to write also. C O W. Right. Then we have over here a cat. Cow the putte apiti langati ne. Cat kenek. Poo se kino apita ne. The magi duela putala danwane. Cat and dog. Eva hari lesi vachana. Cow. Apita eva vela spelling. So no magi duela putala meve no kota tigan again a tiena. You know how to write these words. Dog, cat, cow. They are very easy. Right. So. Next, we have our little friend over here standing on top of this fence. It's a duck. Duck. Kata the putte api duck kyaande. Tara vata ne da magi dola putala danwa. Duck. Le siyang liyan nat puluang putte. I know you have learned the spellings now. So after the cat, we have the duck and then we have a dog. Our friend. All of us, most of us in our homes, we have a dog. We love to keep dogs as pets. Right. So we are going to talk about the baby. Okay. Right. So next is the dog and then we have the owl. Owl. Owl ki ule kaata da pute. Owl ki ala ki anne api bakamu nata ne da. In our lesson number three, we learnt about the old, wise old owl. I hope you can remember. So, that is the owl. Unna. Bakamuna. Now, why do we have these animals over here? Because next we are going to talk about their babies. Unna pute. Then api sheep danwa, rabbit, then cow, cat, 
duck, dog, owl. We already know their names. And now we are going to take a look at their babies. What do we call their babies? Now we don't call the baby sheep in the same name. Api pute then dog kiela balagi pati atatapi kiani ne. Cat kiela yagi pati atapi kiani ne. We use a different name. When they are babies, we use a different name. The punchi kale tamai api e nama kiela katakarani. But when they grow up, when they are big, when they become uh, bigger animals, then we don't call them with their baby names anymore. Api e sattu punchi kale vitarai pute visheshana min katakarani. Egulu luku na hama, egulat luku, api amala tatala vage luku ena vane magit punchi duala putala chuti kale indala, it pasa tika tika luku ela, amma tata vage vena vane edu pute teacha vage luku ena vane, eto kota api ara punchi kale ki ena nama pavichikarani nami animals lata. So, we are learning the baby animals. We are learning about the baby animals and the special names that we use. Uh, when they are small, we call them in that name. Api lokuna ta pase nama pavi chikarani ne. Api lokuna hama apahu kieno. Api dog, cat kiela. Egolo lokuna hama api kieno. But they have special names when they are small. And we are going to talk about it now. Okay, right. Now, these are the baby animals of these big animals over here. Right? Now, first we have the animal sheep. Sheep. Now, who is the baby of the sheep? Who is the baby of the sheep? You can see here, lamb. Lamb. Then teacher magi puta alata. Atthama pinturu genalla tiyanava. Sometimes if these pictures are not very clear, I have brought you beautiful pictures of all these little, little uh, animals over here and their babies. Okay. So we will take a look at that. But first of all, we will listen and we will say the words that says in your pupils book that you have to listen and then you have to say the names. So first, I told you that we have the sheep. Then on the cow the pute sheep ge can battle punchi pati atapi mukadikiane. Can you see over here we have a cute little small lamb? Apikiani pute sheep ge punchi pati at a lamb kiela. Right? So we have here the lamb. Then we have the rabbit. Rabbit. Who is the baby rabbit called? What is the baby rabbit called? Bunny. Api kiyane baby rabbit ta bunny kiyala magi putala pictures bala muko. Right? Then we have the cow. The baby cow is over here and we call it the calf. We call the baby cow calf. And we have a cat over here looking at us. We call the baby cat kitten. Api baby cat ta kiyane pute cat ke punchi pati ata kiyane kitten kiyala. Api cat kiyala kiyane ne punchi kali. Right, then we have our duck. Where is the baby duck? The baby duck is over here and we call it the duckling. Duckling. Then we have our friend dog. Who is the baby dog? The baby dog is the puppy. The baby dog is called a puppy. Then we have our owl over here. Owl. The baby owl is called Owlet, owlet. Unna magi dwela putala, then me punchi pata unta kiyan and amtika teach at teka apa weka tuela kiyan no oli. Right? Api kiyala, eat a pasi api pictures balamu, muna the putala dwela te tiyan a pictures kiyala. Right. So now here we have the first picture, bunny. Bunny. Whose baby is the bunny? Kage a punchi pati at the putte bunny. Bunny is the baby of the rabbit. Rabbit. Api rabbit ge pati ata kiyanne. Bani. Magi dwela putala teacher ki wata pasi kiyanne. Bani. Bani. Then we have the kitten. Una poos pati ata api kiyanna pute. Kitten kiyala. Putala kiyanne. Kitten. K-I-T-T-E-N. Kitten. Right. Then we have the owlet. Owlet. Api una owl ge punchi pati ata tamai pute. Owlet. Kiyala kiyanne. Then we have over here the puppy. Unna pita puppy kene kinnava. 
puppy avilla kaage patiyada dog ge patiyata thamai api puppy kiyala kiyanne the baby dog is called a puppy then we have the lamb say the word lamb lamb lamp ehema nemei pute lamp kiyala kiyanne api pahanata api pahanatai lamp kiyanne me punchi satata kiyanne lamb b akurantimata thiyenne lamb lamb kiyala kiyanne api sheep ge punchi patiyata lamb then we have duckling duckling mage putala kiyanne duckling kiyala duckling is the baby of the duck the baby of the duck is called the duckling then finally we have the calf calf kiyanne kaata da pute calf kiyanne me cow ge punchi patiya the baby cow is called the calf right so now we will take a look at our pictures that i have brought for you and then we will read their names over and over again and we'll look at the spellings and practice that okay come with me we'll see what animals we have right so now as uh, i told you baby animals and their parents now we have the parents and the baby animals over here you can take a look at this picture first before i show you my pictures that i have brought for you can you see over here we have all the animals with their babies and the pictures you can see them very clearly we are going to talk about them in detail i will show you the picture of the mother and then the baby and then we will talk about their names we are going to move forward now come with me now let's take a look at the first slide over here right now take a look at these two pictures now these are very common animals because they live with us in our home we like to keep them as pets right and we we love to have them around us and they are very uh, kind and you also have to be very kind to your little pets at home so these are they are not strangers to us mage duwala putala ona wedi denek මෙන්න මේ ඉන්න පුංචි සත්තුන්ව මගේ දුවල පුතාල දන්නවනේ නේද පුතේ අපි gedarama ape gedara api tiya gannawane now can you remember when we did our lesson number 1 animal friends we started our lesson and then we did uh, different types of animals then at that time we spoke about pets api pets la gana katha karanne need pute surathaleta athi karana sattu ah now here these are the pets that we have at home Now I want you to take a look at the first picture. Dog and puppies. Dog and puppies. Now this is the dog. Api kiyanne loku sata ta api kiyanwa dog kiyala. Kiyanne api kiyamu yage amma amma ta api kiyanne pute dog. D O G dog. Then the puppies කාට ද පපීස් කියන්නේ පුතේ ඔන්න පැටවුන්ට අපි එක් කෙනෙක් නම් කියන්නේ පුතේ පපි කියලා p u p p y ඔන්න මගේ දුවල පුතාලට මෙතන ඉන්නවනේ පුංචි පැටව් තුන් දෙනෙක්ම can you see 1 2 3 so we say puppies dog and puppies but if we have only one we say puppy අපි පපි කියලා තමයි කියන්නේ එක බලු පැටියෙක්ට පුතේ so puppy now the the mother is called the dog and the babies are called puppies mokada pute dang mage putala kiyanna teacher kiwata passe api kiyana loku satata api kiyana dog kiyala api punchi satata kiyanne patiyata mokada kiyanne puppy kiyala kiyana right then we have a cat over here we have the cat can you see even the cat has two little babies over here what do we call those babies we call them kittens kittens now because we have two we say cat and kittens then loku satata mokadda api kiyanne pute api loku ekkenata kiyanne cat kiyala etukota punchi patount api kiyenawa kittens kiyala api ekkenekuta nan kiyenawa kitten kiyala k i T T E N K I T T E N kitten. मुकादपुते आप हो क्या नाम आगे पुताला? Cat, kitten. 
අපි පූස් පැටියට කියන්නේ kitten කියලා. පුංචි පූස් පැටවුන්ට කියන්නේ kitten. ලොකු එක්කෙනාට කියන්නේ අපි cat කියලා. අපි ලොකු අයට කියන්නේ නෑ kitten කියලා. පුංචි සතාට තමයි කියන්නේ baby cat. Right? We say kitten to the baby cat. So what do we say the baby dog? What do we call the baby dog? We call it the puppy and the baby cat. We say kitten. Right. Let's see what else we have in our next slide. Right. Now in our next slide, what do we have? Another two beautiful animals. They are so cute. Can you see? We have the babies as well. We have a cow in this picture and we have a sheep on our other picture. So who is a cow? Now when you look at these pictures, can you see? They are like you. They also love to go and hang around their mother and to uh, be uh, then, then the mother pets them. They are like kids. They are just like you. So now here in the first picture we have the cow. The mother is called the cow. C-O-W, cow. Then what is the baby cow called? The baby cow is called calf. The baby cow is called calf. C A L F. Api cow kela liyan kore liyan C O W. Yaage pati ata mukhad kiyan calf. C A L F. Calf. Now you have to learn the spellings. Maybe you can write them in your little book that you have, and you can write down these names. So the cow and the calf. Can you see them? Calf. C A L F. Calf. Then put a metan api calf kiela kiena kota apita l kiena letter eka ahene na. It's a silent letter. We don't say calf. We say calf. The letter l is not pronounced. It's a silent letter. But when you write the word, you have to write it. Magi dola putala then calf kiela liena kota l la kurak tiena ahene na ti. Hada yapi liena kota l la kurak liena na tu hiti od spelling swara dena. So you have to write the word C-A-L-F. That is how you uh, spell the word calf. So the cow has the little baby and the baby is called the calf. Api calf kya like yani pute. Then we have the sheep. Who is the sheep? Sheep kya like yani pute api battle wata neither. We have the sheep over here. Can you see the mother sheep over here? Can you see? Ah, look at the baby sheep. The baby sheep looks very cute, right? And we call the baby sheep the lamb. Lamb. Kiela kia ne pute api dangi sala pupils bukke kedi mang putala te kiwa ne. Sheep is the uh, mother. E kia ne api sheep kia no aloku battle water. E to kota punchi pati ata mukadde pute api kia ne. Lamb. L A M B. Lamb. Lamb kiela tamai api me punchi pati ata. So the mother is called the sheep and the baby is called the lamb. Now the cow is the big animal and who is the baby? We say calf. I hope you can see the beautiful pictures over here. Let's move forward and see what else we have. Now can you see what I have brought for you? Another uh, two uh, Mama animals and their babies. Let's take a look at the first one. It's the rabbit. Rabbit. How do we spell the word rabbit? R A B B I T. That is rabbit. rabbit. Now can you see? Rabbit is the big animal. Rabbit kiela. Now what what do we call the baby? We call the baby. Bunny. The baby rabbit is called a bunny. The baby rabbit is called the bunny. Bunny. B-U-N-N-Y. B-U-N-N-Y is the uh, spelling of the word bunny. You have to write it down and Study the words. You have to learn the spellings to write. 
So rabbit and bunny, right? You can see the picture. Then the next one, we have the duck. Yeah, you can see the mother duck along with a cute little baby duck. What do we call the baby duck? We call the baby duck duckling. Api punchi pataunta monadu kiyane putte duckling kiyala kiyane. Thara avage punchi patiyata api kiyane duckling kiyala. Mother is the duck. The baby is called duckling. Then we will see the same thing. 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 Duck, duckling. Duck and duckling. You have to learn those things. You must learn the spelling as well. Can you see the mother duck and the duckling? What are the babies called? Duckling. Right, the rabbit, the baby rabbit is called the bunny. Then we have the duck and the baby ducks are called duckling. Okay, right. So let's see in our next slide we have uh, two more animals over here. Can you see there is a bird and there is another animal over there. Let's take a look at the first one. It is the owl. Owl. Baka moon, ane the putte api owl to moka the signal in kiani. Baka moon a kiela kiena. Owl, it's very easy to write. Owl, O W L. Owl, can you see? O W L, owl. So that is the big animal. The mother is called the owl. Then how about the baby? What do we call the baby owl? The baby owl is called owlet. Owlet. We have the same word owl here and a letter E and a T. Owlet. Owl is the name of the big animal. Then the baby animals, animal is called owlet. The baby animal is called owlet. Owl kyane lokusatat. Owlet kela kenapi. It's the same way that you write the word owl. You have to add letter E and T. Akuru deka kekatu kara puham apita owlet. Api duck and duckling liwe putala tamata kaine. Owl, owlet. Duck, duckling. Then we have pig over here. Minna pute balana pig cheka. We have the pig. This is the mama pig. Can you see? Very easy to write also, no? P-I-G. Pig. What is the baby pig called? The baby pig is called piglet. Like the owlet, we have the piglet. We say uh, the baby pig is called piglet. Api loko satata kiyana pig kiyala. Punchi patiata api pig kiyana vachane me ekatu karala ekat L-E-T dana Piglet. Magi dola putala ki and balana teacher tik. Pig. Piglet. Piglet is the baby pig. Right? So now we know owl and owlet. Pig. Piglet. Okay? Right. Now we will move and see what we have in our next uh, slide. Ah. Una magi dola putala to poteti bune. Nati pictures tika kuna teacher ginawa. Let's take a look at this now. You had the dog and the puppy, then the cat and the kittens, duck and the ducklings, owl and owlet, sheep and lamb. Etika magi putala dekkane, cow and calf. Ne the putte. Etika pi dekka. Una then me etika magi putala to una alut words tika kigana gana pulua. This is the deer. Mua. Api mua agi punchi satata muna adu kiyane putte. Yata tapi tati inwa special name me kak. Here. The big one, the mother is called the deer. Api amma ta kiyane, mua kiyala ne, api singhaleng na mua kiyano, mua pati ya kiyala kiyano, choti pati ya ta. But in English, how do we say? In English, we say deer to the mother and the baby deer is called a fawn. Api fawn kiyala kiyane pute. F-A-W-N, fawn. Punchi mua pati ya ta kiyano, vishesha na mak. Fawn kiela pikiani. So the deer and the baby deer is called the fawn. F A W N. Magiputala kiana balanaputte haying. Fawn. 
ෆෝන් කියලා තමයි කියන්නේ. ඔන්න මතක තියාගන්න මගේ පුතාලා මේවා අලුත් දේවල් නේ. ඔන්න අලුතෙන් ඉගෙන ගන්නකොට පුතාලා ඒ ටික ලියලා මතක තියාගන්න ඕනේ. So the mother is called the dear and the baby is called the fawn, right? Then who is this? It is the goat. Eluwa. Neda puthe eluwa ta ne api goat kiyala kiyanne G O A T. Goat. Goat. Api loku satata kiyanawa goat kiyala. Api yaage punchi patiyata mokadda kiyanne puthe kid. It's a very easy name. K I D kid. we have the the big animal we say goat and the baby animal we say kid unna api ammata kiyenawa goat kiyala punchi patiyata kiyanne kid kiyala very very easy to remember kid goat and kid can you see ha huh? right then we have the deer and the fawn kiyanne mage putala deer deer is the mother then who is the baby the baby is called a fawn then we have the goat apita inna eluwa goat and who is the baby the baby's name is kid goat and the kid right deer and fawn goat and kid i hope you can see the pictures and that you will remember them as well right then we have another three pictures another three pictures who are they we have the lion the bear and the tiger they also have babies and we need to learn their names as well neda puthe ona putalata lesiyen mataka tiya ganna puluwang nam tikak thamai teacher dan me amatareng duwala putalata genalla tiyenne thawa hungaak sattu innawa puthe api te golange punchi babalata kiyala namuth tiyenawa habai mage duwala putala thama podi ne api etukota yam kisi pramanayak ටිකක් අපි වචන අලුත් දේවල් ඉගෙන ගමු grade 4 5 යනකොට මගේ දුවල පුතාලට තව words ඉගෙන ගන්න පුළුවන් right so now in this slide what do we have we have the lion the bear and the tiger who is the lion singh yanne de puthe look at the first picture it's the lion api kiyana lion lion is the king in the jungle the lion is called the king of the jungle So now here can you see the baby lion who is the baby lion called the baby lion is called a cub lion and cub can you see the first picture the lion and the cub ona pute lion ge punchi patiyata api kiyanne cub kiyala lion cub etukota kawuda inne apita ilangata then we have picture number 2 it's a bear 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 kiyanne kaatada වල හට නේද පුතේ bear b e a r bear who is the baby bear we say cub we say cub api lion ge punchi patiyata kiyanneth cub kiyala etukota walaha ge punchi patiyata api kiyanneth cub kiyala we call the lion baby a cub then we call the baby bear the same word cub c u b cub Then the third picture. Look at the third picture. We have the tiger. Api tina tiger kene kotiya. Api tiger te kyaane kotiya kyaane ne the pute singaling. Can you see the tiger baby over here looking at you? Can you see? So what do we call the baby tiger? The baby tiger is also called the cub. The lion baby, the bear baby, and the tiger baby. All these little babies are called cubs. Api pute singhe aage, vala aage, koti aage. Api ego longe pata unte English valing kia ne cub kia la. Tiger's little one is called the cub. The lion's little baby is called the cub, and the bear's little baby is called the cub. Can you see now who is the uh, the name of the big animal here? අපි ලොකු සතාට කියනවා lion and the baby is called the cub we call the big animal the bear and the baby we say cub can you see the baby cub over here the baby bear then we have the mother tiger and the baby cub so now you have to remember apita pute lion tiger bear egolonge pattern ta api kiyanne ekama wachane cub kiyala thamai api paavichchi karanne what is the word cub the lion's baby is a cub the tiger's baby is a cub 
the bear's baby is also a cub. Right? So now you know all the names of the little babies. Most of them now you know. You know the name of the baby dog, the baby cat, the baby sheep. All the names that now you have learned. So you have to remember them. We have to do our workbook activities as well. You have to remember their names. Right? So shall we uh, remind them once again? The baby dog is called a puppy. The baby sheep is called a lamb. Then the baby cow is called a calf. Baby cat is called a kitten. Then we had the, the owl. The owl's baby is called the owlet. Then the baby ducks are called ducklings. Can you remember? So we have all of them. Now you have learned all of them. Then the rabbit's baby is called the bunny. Then you learned the tiger, the bear and the lion. Their babies are called cubs. Right? And then what about the goat? The goat, little baby goat is called a kid. The baby goat is called a kid. Magi dola putalata. Aapa hume pictures dang teacher pennu ane putalata. Ewa nevatat putalata balanda puluang munua de sattunge nam kiela. Ito kot api dia. So now you have learned all of those. And now it's the time for us to move on to our workbook activity. Api then workbook activities karamu pute me igana gatta deval mataka tiyagana magi duala putala workbook activities valte amu deng api. Now take your workbook and turn to this page that I'm going to show you now. Keeping everything in mind, all the things that we have learned, now we are going to start our workbook activities. So come. Now this is your workbook activity. Now you have to turn to this page. We have to find and match. Unna pute find and match kiya la pita tiyan ni deng. Unna mage dola putala words kiya wala. Api hoyande anava find and match. Now we have the name of the mother and the name of the baby. So we are going to find them and we are going to match. So first of all, we will take a look at this side. Api me patheti ana words balamu pute. Ehema balala ita pasi ani patheti ana words ud balala. Api matak karagamu me kaage pati adhikiela. Then we can do this activity very easily. We will first read the words on this side. First word D U C K. What is that? It's the duck. D U C K is the duck. Kaat the duck kiela kiwe magi putala. Matak kiya ana balana matak karala. Duck kiela kiwe api tara avat. Duck. Then the second one. Owl. O W L. O W L is called owl. Kaat the owl kiela kiwe. Baka mo nata. That's right. Then we have the very easy word. Cat. Who is a cat? Pusa. Right. Okay. Then we have the next word. Dog. D-O-G, dog. Who is a dog? Balla. That's right. Then we have cow. C-O-W, cow. Cow ke la kiwe pute? Ella dena neda. Right. Then the last word we have here, sheep. Sheep ke la kiwe kaata da? Batalu ata tamai api. Sheep ke la kiwe. Right. So now we have the words duck, owl, cat, dog, cow. And sheep. Right? So now we have the uh, names over here, and on the other side we have the names of the babies. So we are going to read them as well, and then we will match the uh, mother to the little baby's name. Right? The first one calf. Kata the pute calf kela kiwe punchi. Ella dena ge pati atane, that's right. Ella dena ge pati api kiyane singaleng vasu pati a kiyala mage putala. Kaaf kiyala kiyano api kao ge baby ta. The baby cow is called a kaaf. Then, owlet. Owlet, that of course I think everybody can remember. The baby owl is called the owlet. Api baka muna ge punchi pati ata tamai owlet kiyala kiyue. Then we have the next word, kitten. Kitten kiwe kaata the poos pati ata. The baby cat is called the kitten. Now look at the spellings. K-I-T-T-E-N. 
kitten. Then we have the duckling. Duckling. Very easy, you know. Uh, whose baby is that? It's the baby of the duck. The duck baby is called a duckling. Duckling. Then we have the puppy. A baby dog is called a puppy. Can you see? P-U-P-P-Y. Puppy. Then the last one. Lamb. Who is a lamb? Api lamb kela ki the pute. Lamb kela ki ane api sheep ge petia. Ne the api battle ge petia ne lamb kela ki ane. So the baby sheep is called a lamb. Right. So now it's time for us to match uh, the mother to the baby. Now can you see they have done one for us. Owl, owlet. Can you see the owl? is here and the baby owl is called owlet. That is done for you. Now we'll try to find the first one. Duck. What is the baby duck called? The baby duck is called duckling. So you have to come from here and draw a line to the word duck. It's an arrow. You can match. Duck, duckling. How do we spell the word duckling? duckling spell D U C K L I N G D U C K L I N G duckling right then the third one cat api kaata da pute cat kiyala kiyanne poo sata neda kawuda api etukota punchi pataunta kiyana nama hoya ganne kohomada cat what is the uh, uh, the baby cats called what is the name that we use to call the baby cats we say kitten. The baby cat is called the kitten. And the word is over here. Kitten. Okay. Cat, kitten. Then the next one. Dog. I know. All of you know uh, what the baby dog is called. The baby dog is called the puppy. That's right. Here we have the word puppy. The baby dog. Then we have the word cow. Cow. Who is the baby cow called? What is the baby cow called? Pute. Cow kiela kiana ela dena. Baby cow tapi kiana. Calf kiela. C A L F. Calf. Right? Remember when you write the word, L is a silent letter. Cow and calf. Then the last one. Sheep. Batalua. Who is the baby sheep? The baby sheep is called the lamb. Onapute, sheep and lamb. So now we have matched them all together. We have got them in pairs. Apidang on mother animal and the baby animal we have found. So let's take a look at them now. Once again, we will read their names. Duck. D U C K. Duck. Who is the baby duck called? A duckling. D-U-C-K-L-I-N-G. Duckling. Then the second one, owl. Owl. O-W-L. Owl. Then the baby owl is called owlet. O-W-L-E-T. Owlet. The third one, cat. Pusa. The baby cats are called kitten. K-I-T-T-E-N. Kitten. Then we have the dog. The baby dogs are called puppy. Dog. D-O-G. Dog. It's very easy. And how do you spell the word puppy? P-U-P-P-Y. P-U-P-P-Y. Then the next one is the cow. C-O-W. Cow. And what is the baby cow called? Calf, C A L F, calf. Then we have the word sheep, S H E E P. Battle yapi sheep kela kiane. Then the baby sheep is called lamb, L A M B, lamb. Right? So we have all the words matched to their little baby animal. So we have completed that. We have one last activity to do in your workbook. Related to our animal babies. Now we'll do that. It's the last one. Okay, listen and color. 
Now, how are we going to do this? Listen and color. Now, first of all, I'm going to tell you the name of the mother. And then we are going to find the baby's name. And then we are going to color. It says, listen and color. Unapi hunding ahum kan vila. Api mother name and the baby name. We have to find the mother name and the baby name. And then we have to color them in the same color. Unna api dhen eka karanda yanni. Isal api balamu loku sata ata kiya na nama. Ita paasi api hoya agani mu chooti pati ata kiya na nama. Maghe dhuala putala asa yekata ne edha. Right. Okay. Now we are going to start from this corner. Right. Now I am going to take my color. Okay. I will take pink color. So we will, we can see it clearly. Right. Now first we have the dog. Dog. So we will Give first color the picture dog. Unapita dog in. Now who is the baby dog called? What is the name of the baby dog? Now you have to tell me. That's right. It's the puppy. Api dog ge punchi pati ata kiya ne muna kiya la the putte. Api puppy kiya la kiya. Now we have to find the word. Now you have to tell me the spelling of the word puppy. How do we spell that word? P U P, P, Y. Now we have to find that. Over here we have the word puppy. P, U, P, P, Y. So we will color the word puppy. Then the dog and the puppy goes together. Dog is the mother. The baby is called the puppy. Right. So we have dog and the puppy. Then next is we have the word sheep. Let's take another color. Let's take red color. Right, so first we will color the word sheep. Ah, now you have to tell me who is the baby sheep called? What is the baby sheep called? What is the name? Api kiyanwa sheep ke punchi pati ata mona kiyala da putte. Lamb kiyala ne da. Lamb is the baby of the sheep. Here we have the word lamb. So who is the mother? Tell me the name of the mother that is sheep. And who is the baby? The baby is called the lamb. Right. So we have that. Next, we will select another color. Okay, maybe blue color. Right. Next, we will see who the mother animal is. We have the word here, cow. Cow, we have the word here. Right. So now we have to find the name of the baby cow. Who is the baby cow called? Then mage dwala putala mata matakkala kiyanna. Cow ge peti ata api mukadda kiyanne. I told you in that name there is a silent letter. Ah, the cow's little baby is called the calf. C-A-L-F. Over here. Did you see that? Ah, right. So now we have the dog and the puppy. Sheep and lamb, then the cow and the calf. Next, we have the word owl. Let's take a look at that. The word owl is over here. O W L, owl. I hope you can see it's over here. Now we have to give a color to our owl. So we'll select a color from there. Maybe we'll take orange color. Right. So now we will give the color the Big animal, the mother is called the owl. Now, what are we going to call our little baby owl? We have to say owlet. Neither put it. Api owl kela kiane bakamunata. Mukadiagi patiaginama. Owlet. Owlet. O W L E T. Owlet. Okay. Right? So now we have the dog and the puppy. Then we have the sheep and the lamb. Then we have the cow and the calf and we have the owl and the owlet. Then what are we going to do now? We have another two more animals. I hope you can see them. We have the duck. Now we are going to give a color to our duck. Uh, we'll give the color, we'll give the purple color to the duck. Okay. Ah, here the duck. The mother is called the duck. Now, where is the baby duck? What do we call the baby duck? We call the baby duck hmm? 
Duckling. That's right. You could remember, no? The word duckling is over here. The word duckling is over here. So, shall we color that? The duck we have taken purple color. Right. So, the duckling. I'm going to color my duckling which is over here. Can you see? Duck and the duckling. So, dog and puppy, sheep and lamb, cow and calf, owl and owlet, duck and duckling. So, our final word, the last word that we have to color is the cat. Only the cat is remaining here. So, now we are going to give a color to our cat. We have to give a beautiful color to the word cat. So we have to select a color and we will give this color to the cat. Oh, now tell me who is the baby cat called? I hope you can remember. There is one word remaining over here. Kitten. That's right. The cat and the kitten. The baby cats are called the kittens. Onna magi dola putala te deng. Okkoma picture sticker. Okkoma name sticker api color karala. Ivarai. Let's take a look at them now. Dog and puppy. Sheep and lamb. Owl and owlet. Cow and calf. Cat and kitten. Then the duck and the duckling. Now when you do this activity in your workbook, you can select different colors the way that I have done. Then it's easy for you to identify. Magi dola putalat me activity eka karna kota putte, api ekama sattu den nage nam dekata api ekama kala eka daamu eta kota putalata hoya gana lesi ne. You can color. You like to color also no? So you can use the same color. Now for the dog and the puppy, you can use the same color. Ekama parting dog and puppy. Then sheep and lamb, you can give a separate color. Sheep and lamb. Like that, if you do it the way that I have done, it will be very easy for you to uh, remember and to see it very easily and identify. Right. Okay. So, with this activity, we have come to the end of our lesson. And now, in our lesson number 5, what did we learn? We spoke about all the baby animals. Like you all, they are very cute and very active. Isn't it? Mage punchi dola putala vage madha api igana gatte sattun tattinna punchi patau gana. So I hope you can remember all the names. Names like puppy, kittens, owlet, duckling, then cubs. Can you remember? Fawn, then kid. So, keeping all these things in mind, I want you to do your workbook activities properly and then you can maybe teach your little brothers and sisters and your friends. Animal babies so now I'm going to finish my lesson because we have completed our workbook activities as well. So I'm going to come back very soon with my next lesson and in our unit number 5 we are talking about animals. So our next lesson will also be all about animals. So until I come back with my English lesson, stay safe. Bye.